Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here today at the National Highways Net Zero and Innovation Day. And I've got Shweta. Shweta, you're the CEO and founder of Machine Max. Now, I've been speaking to Machine Max for a little while now. You guys do something very clever with things like this because you're a telemetry provider who actually works with another good friends of mine at Flannery. Tell me a little bit about what this is and what Machine Max is all about. Uh, Peter, thanks for this. So, so this is a sensor which is completely wireless and it's a universal telematic device. So you can see that there are no wires coming out, right? Yep. So I just take it and just stick it next to the engine. That's it. Onboarding done. You are now wow. connected. This machine is now connected. This is, this has got a GPS chip in it. Yep. It has got a vibration uh, technology which, which is powered by our machine learning al algorithms. And it just captures what ma the machine is doing and will tell you where your machines are and yep. what they are doing, whether they are working on, off or idling. Right. And, and when you know what your machines are doing, then you can understand like, you know, utilization, what you can do with it. And you're working with Flannery and some other the big players at the moment. And I think what's really good about this is it's a simple piece of technology. We have a lot of this sort of technology that maybe an OEM will build into their equipment, but that's only relevant for their equipment. This is about this JCB here, bang, we're connected. Other, other models, we've got some Volvo equipment behind us, bang, they're connected. And so it, this is a complete industry solution, isn't it? Absolutely. And the data that we get, how, where does that go? So that pings up to your uh, cloud in the sky, what yeah. happens? So it has a SIM card in it, it yep. go, and the SIM card pushes it back to our cloud, where we are doing the clever things, which our engineers are doing, and I'm taking the credit of it, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. So they are doing the clever things, and then we come to know uh, what the state of the machine is. Yep. Now that, that data can be utilized, like you were talking about net zero, now, when you know when the machine is idling, you would know how much fuel has been wasted and how much yeah. emissions has gone into the yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. If usually, I think in the talk we heard that 30% of the utilization is the usual industry standard. Yeah. Out of that 30% of utilization, 30% of the time machines are idling. Yeah. That means every hour of idling is wasting four liters of fuel. Wow. And if you yeah. have thousands of machines, yeah. you can imagine how much 3.2 million kilogram of uh, uh, CO2 emissions are going into the atmosphere per year. Wow, and that's a big issue because guess what's happening, folks? Yes, we're going from red diesel to white diesel and the fuel is going to be more expensive or you've got to start using HVO and that's going to be expensive as well in comparison with the changes the government's bringing out. So by t c connecting a device, using this information for positive feedback to the operators and looking at how to manage a site properly for real time? Is real it happening in real it time? It's real time, real oh, time. Right. Okay. Yeah. Every minute, every second what your machine is doing is captured here yeah. and then it is pushed to the clouds and then presented it back. So you know by minute by minute what the data is powered, like we are harnessing the power of data. So it's not about pulling data off the next week and going why was that day so bad because we had a traffic jam of ADTs because we had a breakdown in, a, in an excavator for example. It's action right now yeah. uh, you know and, and making things happen and also this is available i take it the data is available yes on pcs or can i get it on a tablet yeah. or yeah, what absolutely. happens it's a web app right so yeah. you can have your mobiles with you you can have your ipad with you you can have your pcs with you we are pushing reports as well if you want it in pdf you want trends analysis you want anything to do with data we have that data and we can cut it and slices in the ways you want it and that's the whole point for me. Data is king, they always say. But this device, so, so simple, but equally, it's not about the data for data's sake. You need to turn data into interesting information that's usable and has an impact on the overall site, its efficiency, and how you deliver it. And if we're going to get to net zero by 2050, there's a big job to do on data, isn't there? Exactly. Data, insights, action. And we right. are making the things happen right now. We don't have to wait to 2050. Yep. We are doing it things now. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks very much for, for sharing that with me. I think it's just about to rain, folks. I better get my data app on to tell me whether I should get back inside. But don't worry, even if it's raining, even if it's sun shining, even if it's snowing, this device on equipment can give you the data and insights you need, can't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Fantastic. Great to meet you. Cheers. Thanks, Peter.